I found inappropriate texts between a man and my fiancé. Now, I'm planning to ghost her without saying a word. Will I be the a-hole for doing that, even though my fiancé thinks she deserves closure? I, 28M, have found out that my fiancé, 30F, of two years cheated on me. We have been together for six years and in love with each other. At least that's how it was for me. She has been acting more distant and became more protective of her phone for the last two months. At first, I was not suspicious of anything, but the doubt grew more and more inside me as time passed. Especially after asking her if there was a problem since she felt distant. She said there was no problem, and that was it. I gave in and snooped on her phone to discover she had been sexting a guy for the last two months. I was devastated. At the beginning of our relationship, I clearly told her lying and cheating in any form were the two unforgivable actions for me. Yet, she decided to cheat on me after five years of a relationship, and we had been planning the wedding for this summer. I am not proud of this, but I checked the old messages as well, and there was no case of cheating other than this. I have been thinking about it for the last few days. I tried to rationalize it and told myself I cannot leave a six-year relationship because of a single mistake, but after having a long talk with my oldest sister, I realized that I should respect myself and leave. She was the one who betrayed the relationship, not me. We do not have any shared assets, and the lease is in my fiancé's name. I have an inherited house, but it's in another city. Tomorrow, I am planning to just get important things from the house, block her from everywhere, and just leave. I do not want closure, to be honest. I just want to grieve the relationship. I thought maybe I did not love her, given that I want to leave her right away, but it's not like that. It hurts a lot. I tend to stress eat, self-pleasure, doom scroll, and spiral into depression in these kinds of situations. I have that experience from my early 20s. Going no contact and returning to the city where my family lives will give me a support system. Will I be the a-hole if I straight up left and ghosted her without saying anything? Relevant comment. NTA, but if you can get screenshots of the chats as proof. So when people ask you, you can back it up. Opie, I already have them, but probably will not share them with anyone unless they push me hard. Update. Firstly, I will not spread screenshots on social media or anywhere. That's illegal and a low blow even if it does not contain sexual content. It's a private thing, and I am not planning to use these unless she plays dirty. One of my sisters came early in the morning to take me after my fiancé left for work, and we packed some small things. As the lease is in her name, I do not have furniture and stuff. We packed clothes, accessories, and other small and personal things. Her car is an SUV, so we were able to fit most of the required things, thankfully. I could not take the ring, though. I left the keys under the flower pot and put a sticky note on the refrigerator saying, I know, bye. The drive took about seven hours, and we safely arrived at the inherited house. On the ride, I received countless messages and calls from unknown numbers but did not answer. Once we arrived at the home, my eldest sister called me, asking if we had arrived. She told me my fiancé called her crying around 3 p.m. and my sister told her not to contact me. We know everything, and if she tries to paint me in any bad way, we would not just use words, but also show solid proof to people. My fiancé requested to know where I am and speak to me. My sister said I was fine and that she should not contact me in any form. When my fiancé said we at least deserve closure, my sister replied, too bad, suck it up, not exactly that, but that's how I would translate the idiom, and ended the call. I still get calls and messages from unknown numbers. In the end, her father and mother called me. Surprisingly, my fiancé came clean to them, and while they hoped I would give her a chance, they respected my decision. I thanked them and wished them the best of luck. Her father told me he would send the rings money and asked for my bank account. He actually sent it, adjusting for inflation, so I got a pretty decent amount of money. The house is in almost perfect condition, as we renovated it before my mom passed away. It's just incredibly dusty and dirty after not being used since then. My three sisters will come this weekend, and we'll clean it together. My eldest broke up with her girlfriend recently, so she plans to live with me after her lease ends in a few months. She has been complaining about rent prices for a while. My sisters are pretty much my only family, so I only informed them and some really close friends. I am planning on going to therapy after settling here. It may sound weird how close I am with my sisters, but we grew up like that. We grew up with an abusive father, and as I was the only man and the youngest, all the physical and emotional abuse went towards me. We bonded with each other through trauma, and they tend to be a bit protective of me. I think that history is one of the reasons I did not want to face my ex-fiancé. I thought I had gotten over that, considering nothing happened since the family therapy we took, but it seems to still be there. I'll get into therapy as soon as possible to understand everything and resolve the problems. I will post if there are any updates, but I just hope there won't be any. I just want to have peace and grieve right now. Top Comments 
It sounds as if you are on the right path and have a good support system. Yay sisters for having your back. Good luck. Opie, thank you. I did not know what I would do if my sisters weren't there. Comment, you made the perfect choice in your note. She does not deserve a closure talk from you. It may help her, but definitely not you. You are the number one priority. If she had made you that priority, she wouldn't be in this mess. She made her bed, let her lie in it. Good luck and stay strong, King.